There are a lot of videos out there going over settings for forward-facing sonar and other advanced techniques. But let's spend a little time reviewing the basics that I think get overlooked and can be confusing for new anglers trying to utilize technology on a limited budget. So what is sonar? It is a sound wave that is sent into the water and bounced back to the transducer. Simple as that. Our depth finders today interpret that signal and help us see into the water. Our electronics today can do amazing things, but let's break down a few of the common terms and usages. Early sonar, like the old school Vexilars, relied on sending a cone-shaped signal straight down. Useful for finding the bottom, fish and lures directly beneath a boat or an ice hole. Standard down imaging sonar is the same. The difference today is that the signal is presented on the screen with the higher computing power of today's sonar, we can see the size and shape of weeds, rocks, fish, bait, etc. Most companies now offer a more high def version, such as Hummingbird's Mega Down Imaging or Garmin Clearview, etc. Next up, companies began taking the same signal but turning it sideways. Enter the age of side scan sonar. This really was a huge leap forward. Now instead of looking at what you already passed over, you can see structure and fish that your boat hasn't scared off. As much as forward facing sonar is debated, I see the best anglers spend more time with side scan than forward facing sonar. Many of us will now spend almost as much time scanning with side scan on a new lake as we will fishing. In addition, this is a technology that is within reach of most anglers' budgets, as it is included with the most middle-of-the-road offerings from Garmin and Hummingbird, with upgrades to the higher def modes available. My advice to young anglers is to spend time with side scan, even on your go-to spots to learn how to find other similar spots. The next jump was to take the side scan idea, but cover a 360-degree view by slowly rotating the transducer signal in a circle. Same idea, but now we can see all around the boat and even track fish moving or bait, not quite in real time, but close enough. Most anglers use sky side scan as a search tool and 360 to make precise casts while actively fishing. Finally, that brings us to the hotly debated forward-facing sonar technology. Garmin, Hummingbird, Lawrence all have the, some version of this technology. While expensive and sometimes complicated to quote-unquote dial in, this uses essentially down imaging signals sent out at different angles and knitted together with a pretty powerful computer, i.e. the black box, to form a single image in front of the boat. With the high computing power, the, these images can re be refreshed so fast that we can track fish swimming around us and our bait as it falls, making it look like real-time moving object. Ultimately, the important part is to utilize the sonar technology you have available to you today, regardless of your budget. Learn how to use it the most effective way possible to help you catch more fish and more bodies of water. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out our other videos.